Red Dog has been smashing it at the box office and is currently the eighth top grossing Australian film of all time. And I'm lucky enough today to be here with the director, Chris Stenden. Hello? Are you lost? Do you need water? Red Dog is based on an incredible true story of a Kelpie who unites a rural community. Cheeky it's Crib's bunny. fifth feature. They say never ever work with children or animals. What were you thinking? You've got a cat and a dog in this film. Well, I'd work with kids and I thought if I work with animals then I could retire. <laughs> no, it's, it was just a great script. It was a fantastic story. It was a crazy place when Red Dog arrived in Dampier. Get ready to get wild. Mm. He was like a dog. For everyone. Kind of feel that whenever you make a film, you've really got to kind of scare yourself, put yourself, challenge yourself, and put yourself in a position you normally wouldn't put yourself in. And working with animals was one of those things that people always said don't do, but just because they say don't do it means doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. How do you go about the casting process for a dog? Well, it was just like casting an actor, you know, it's like trying to find the right, you know, for me, 99% of directing is casting. Along with the brilliant animal casting, Red Dog has some great performances by actors Josh Lucas, Rachel Taylor and another very special performance. Phil Hunter played a small role in your film and sadly it was one of his last roles, but what was it like to work with him? I don't think he really knew who I was. Um, I don't think he definitely hadn't seen any of my earlier films. <laughs> I was just <laughs> this kind of pip, pip squeak, squeak director and I kept on trying to make him feel comfortable because he was quite nervous. I said, Bill, you know, don't worry about getting into, oh, get out of here, go away. Oh, no, 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 go, go, go. I <laughs> love in, it. But in the sweetest way possible. But it was, we had a great day, had a fun day, and it was lovely. Everyone on set knew that there was perhaps a bit of history being made. All right, I'm not going to lie, I have been avoiding seeing this film for quite some time because I knew that it was a great film, but I also knew that I was going to cry because it has a beautiful dog in it, and that's all I knew. But I finally watched a film travelling from LA to Melbourne, bawled my eyes out, and the stewardess comes up and was quite concerned about whether I was OK. And then I said I was fine and she did this quick little look back and she goes, did you just watch Red Dog? <laughs> and I thought, oh my goodness, this must happen to so many people. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, I do. It's great. It's wonderful. I mean, that's what you really want as a filmmaker. You want people to come up and say they love the film and they'd seen it. But the other day I had this wonderful day. I had a, um, a five-year-old come up to me and say it was his favourite film of all time and he wanted to die his dog Red. Oh and on the same word. day, a 91-year-old said it was her favourite film of all time. So I, I felt like, you know, getting a, a five-year-old and a 91-year-old's response. I mean, that that's a great cross-range of, 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 of ages. You know what I love? Like, in that first opening scene, it's like, Eve, you know, it's, it's just like straight into such a good soundtrack. How important is music in a film, do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, music and images together, they just create this amazing energy, you know, you just can't, I mean, that's what I love about movies is, I mean, 50% of movies is sound. It's sort of the lifeblood, it's the heart of the film that, uh, that, um, that keeps it pumping and gives it this kind of great kind of tone, this overall sort of creates this world. We've got the IF Awards coming up and you've been nominated for nine of them. That is ridiculous. How does it feel? Oh, look, it's great. You know, as I said before, it's wonderful having people come up to you and and say they've seen the film and loved and, and liked it. And um, it's also great to be recognised. And I'm really happy, not so much for myself, I mean, it's great to be nominated, but I'm really happy for the whole team because, you know, the film was a low budget film and everyone worked on it very, very hard. You know, there was not much money. People did it because they really believed in the project. So I'm just really grateful and happy that their work's been recognised. Well, no doubt, whatever you're spending your time doing right now, it's going to end up being fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you on the red carpet at the Ip Awards. Thank you. Thanks, Ruby. Thanks.